Kirk and the crew are going to do the rescue mission of the other crew that's been captured by Crawl's men. And Kirk gets on a motorcycle. Let's. Why is he going so fast? Look at this. So fast. What are we doing? This motorcycle that hasn't been touched in 200 years. So dangerous. What are we doing? I mean, we got rocks. I'm glad this is like a path that people have sort of maintained <laughs> a little bit. That's right. If it wasn't. Man, if uh, if if a unknown if a unforeseen rock was in his in the trail right now, what is he going to do? He's going to slam into it. Yeah, imagine this boulder and yep. this boulder like collapsed and just completely blocked the path. Right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yep, then they're and they're they're going over the handlebars. Right. So, why not take the motorcycle at a nice like 10, 15 miles an hour? I don't know how fast it would that, that, that feeling when you're like you're moving steady, but you're not going so fast that you couldn't stop for some unforeseen thing. I mean, gosh, and this is gravel; it's not asphalt. That's right, and I don't. It doesn't look like some kind of dirt bike. It looks like a road bike. Uh, is that right? Hard to say. Uh, hard to say. Oh, I guess the it could be know. an adventure bike, which is the hybrid of the two. Oh. Either way, I think, like going on gravel, I think that's advanced motorcycling. Yeah. Yeah. And then going fast through a trail you've never been on before. With a passenger. With a passenger. When you could have gone slowly. Like, what are we doing? What are we doing, Kirk? What are we doing? doing? Actually, I I don't even know how they did this. Because they teleport in already moving. And so does that mean he teleported from the Franklin already moving? I mean, okay. So let's say you could could say, I'm going to teleport from here to there. And I'm Uh stationary here. And I want to be moving at 60 miles an hour when I teleport in. Okay. So I teleport myself in going 60 miles an hour. And as I materialize, I'm moving along the ground. It doesn't mean like somebody is in like the teleporter, like holding up the back end, like, all right, rev yeah, it yeah. up. <laughs> right. Cause, because the wheels have to be moving. Otherwise, if, if, if he's stationary on the telepad on yeah. the Franklin, but then suddenly moving but his wheels aren't like uh, right. over here but his wheels aren't moving then he should skid to a stop right or he's like in first gear and he hits the ground <laughs> <laughs> why not teleport in stationary start up the bike start up. Yeah. and go in there at a nice steady speed why do we even using the bike just walk in is it do we this is just unnecessary danger that's right yeah, walk in silently as opposed to making this engine noise which is echoing through here. Oh, yeah, that's a good point. If they have like automated sensors like noise. Or even just or, somebody happens to be walking around though. They're like silence. Oh, this beautiful nature. So serene. So so nothing here then. <laughs> like, yeah, like, what? Call it what? What <laughs> oh, is this? There's two people there. <laughs> a, a sound that I haven't heard in two hundred years since we lost that motorcycle. Yeah. Yeah, it's even worse. I'm thinking sensors. You're thinking like a guy walking around. It's so no, noticeable. It's not nature sounds. It's that's right. It's an engine. <laughs> Kirk, what are you doing? Weird, weird tactical situation. But they needed the bike later, so they did need the bike. Makes sense for the, for sense. the distraction. 